One of the big one of the big problems with young sheep is they can abort, and one of the causes of abortion is toxoplasmosis. And uh, toxoplasmosis is transmitted to the sheep by cats. So one of the things that's happening here is we're trying to reduce the cat population in, in an attempt to um, to reduce the exposure of toxoplasmosis to these ewes and hopefully prevent abortions without uh, any other interventions. So um, yeah, so we're, at the moment we're going to blood test these sheep and see whether there has been any exposure. We tested them a couple of years ago and I think we found quite a few that had been exposed to toxoplasmosis um, and so we want to compare what's happened after two years of cat control and see how we go. Right, so what we're doing here, just taking a blood sample from these sheep and um, what we'll do, we'll send it away to the laboratory later on this afternoon and they'll do the testing for us and um, tell us whether these sheep have been exposed to toxoplasmosis. These here are last year's lambs. Um, so with um, being lambs or younger population, they're naive, um, which means that um, they haven't been exposed to toxoplasmosis, so they're good for testing. They'll let us know pretty quickly um, what sort of levels of toxoplasmosis are in these sheep. Um, and they're at the same, same uh, age group as what we done in the first year, uh, which was two years ago. Um, so it'll be quite interesting to see what the results are on our baseline test. The main reason for toxo testing is uh, in the Cape City footprint it's uh, 26,000 hectares um, and across that um, we're tracking for cats, which uh, cats have toxoplasmosis um, and so um, with the six farms, three of them are um, actual farms with on the footprint, three of them are our test farms uh, from outside the footprint. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where it gets to from here.